Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over our enhanced feature set for digital authorization. In TechMetric, we currently capture and allow for digital authorization of the estimate, and if you are a Tech Merchant user, you've been able to also capture a digital signature for your payment transactions when closing out the repair order. We decided to take the digital authorization feature set one step further and include e-signatures in the authorization process. Let's go ahead and get started with reviewing the Enhanced Digital Authorization Feature Set. The first feature is going to be the Employee Certification field. This will be found under the Employees section and within an Employees profile. So in this example, I'm going to select a technician, and here I will find a certif Certification Number field, and if I click the Edit Pencil, here is where I will be able to enter it. Once you enter your certification number for your technicians, you will also have the option to show it on the estimate and invoices within your transparency settings. You can adjust this in your shop settings, estimate and invoice section, and if you scroll all the way down in your transparency settings, in this section that says show technicians on jobs, you will select full name and certification. Now, let's go ahead and review digital signatures. To get started, let's note to go to RO settings and advanced settings, and here you will have the ability to require digital signatures for digital authorizations. Digital signatures will allow your shop to go fully paperless and help you obtain your authorization quicker, as well as make your customer's experience seamless when reviewing and improving their estimate. So if you would like to use this feature consistently, I do recommend to require it as well. So let's go ahead and show a nice example. Let's go to the job board and find an estimate. So let's use Benedict Marks. And we'll notice that in this estimate, we still need to retrieve authorization for the air filter and oil chain jobs. So let's go ahead and pretend that we sent this over to our customer and now they're going to open it and review it on their phone. Once Benedict receives it on his phone, he will notice a white box with information at the very top. This will hold the shop information, customer information, and why he came in with the vehicle. So here you'll see client concerns, and if he selects the vehicle, a drop down will appear as well. You'll notice when approving, there's a yellow pointer, so it's visually easier for your customers to approve the jobs. And now here we will ask for your customer to sign. Upon clicking sign here, it will ask him to rotate the screen so he has more space with signing the estimate. Once he signs it, he will click authorize and now the estimate has been authorized. Now, when we navigate back to the estimate, you'll see that these jobs have been approved. Now let's say that we were doing the work and we decided we needed to add one more job for the customer. So in this example, I'm going to add a quick alignment job. You'll notice that there's a yellow warning next to the total. If you hover over it, it's going to tell you the amount exceeded after the authorized total. Because we added a new job, it looks like the customer actually had authorized $152, but now my new RO total is $254. So the amount exceeded is about $100. So now we need to resend this estimate to get more approval from the customer. So I'll go ahead and now click authorize to show you the new method. And let's just say I had called them and I am approving it on the customer's behalf. Here I have the option to select how I'm getting approval. So in this case I got a phone call and the person who authorized it was Benedict and the phone number I called in this case was this number. And now I'm going to click authorize. So now we have officially authorized the third job and now the warning sign goes away. And if you ever need to figure out what was actually authorized and at what point in time, we actually now have an authorization history audit trail in order to help protect you and your shop from any customer discrepancies. So you will find that in the summary section located under authorization history. And here it'll give me every time that this customer has authorized it, as well as what the total was. So in this case, it was 254.59. And it'll even tell me how much in addition to his previous authorization, the time and date, the IP address, and a snapshot of the authorized estimate. 
So in this case, it was these three, the methods, and if there was no digital signature captured, because in this case, I had gotten it by phone. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.